Presentations. Case 1. A 14 year old boy was presented to our clinic with a two weeks history of headache, vomiting, and blurred vision. His symptoms usually were worsening towards the evenings. The neurological examination of the patient who had ventriculoperitoneal shunt history for hydrocephalus revealed an upward gaze palsy, pupillar light near dissociation, nystagmus, eyelid retraction, and papillar edema. The patient was diagnosed with dorsal midbrain syndrome due to shunt dysfunction, and the shunt was revised. His follow-up was uneventful. Case 2 an 8-year-old boy presented to our clinic with a two-week history of right hemiparesis, headache, noise, and vomiting. Examination of the cranial nerve confirmed bilateral upward gaze palsy with constricted, unreactive pupils and convergence retraction nystagmus consistent with Peronov syndrome. Endoscopic examination revealed bilateral papillar edema. In brain magnetic resonance imaging, there was a mass lesion originating from left thalamic region exanted through brain stem. The pathologic diagnosis of the resected tumor was anaplastic astrostoma. Axial T2W MRI image of the brain showing the mass lesion in left thalamic region and hydrocephaly. The mass exanted to the third ventricle and mildly compressed adjacent brain tissue. Bilateral upward gaze passing in both cases. Pernod syndrome, also known as dorsal midbrain syndrome or vertical gaze palsy, is characterized by a classic triad of upward gaze palsy, pupillary light near dissociation, eyelid retraction, collier sign, and convergence retraction nystagmus with the preservation of downward gaze. The main causes of Pernod syndrome are brain tumors, multiple sclerosis, stroke or metabolic disorders such as Neumann Pick disorders, Wilson disease and canicterius, all of which can surge compression or damage to the mesencephalon. Generally, the lesion is assumed to lie in the afferent paths of the rostral interstitial nuclei of the medial longitudinal fasciculus proceeding supranuclear palsy of vertical gaze. With the treatment of underlying factors, the eye findings of Pernod syndrome mostly improve slowly over months. Here we have reported two cases of dorsal midbrain syndrome with different etiological factors to take attention to the clinic findings of this syndrome. Thank you for your attention.